Hi guys, I have this malfunction breaker here. Let's try to answer two questions really quickly. Question number one, what made this uh, breaker fail? And question number two, is it really a non-polarized DC breaker? But before we start drilling, let's just see what we have here. So this is a NANQ DZ47Z. It is advertised as a non-polarized DC breaker. Non-polarized DC breakers are getting really important in battery systems where you can have bi-directional current and there are not many companies, manufacturers, who are making them. They can be very expensive. This is the only one Chinese company which is making such, or at least they are claiming so. And uh, yeah, what happened? Uh, it got disconnected and now also the handle does not hold anymore. We can see a burn mark here on the top and if you would look into the hole there, into the terminal, you can clearly see that the burn mark is coming from the internal of the circuit breaker. So let's open this one up and see what exactly we can find inside of this breaker. The only thing we need to do, I have a drill four millimeters and we are going just to drill the rivets here and then this should be possible to li be lifted off. Yeah, that's usually already it. And as you can see, it can be lifted off. I just probably need this. Oh, okay, maybe no screwdriver necessary. Does the stuff stay inside? You need to lift off that half, which is uh, the fuller one actually here. Okay, uh, yeah, you can see here all the internals of this breaker. Okay, so can we actually see what happened to this breaker? And yes, we can. So there, if you remember, I once opened the broken AC breaker from Thomson, and in that case, Actually, it had kind of a similar problem. It uh, developed heat. It melted uh, all these plastic parts here and deformed completely. This did not happen on this breaker. We can clearly see that we only have heat uh, spots here near the contact. And interestingly, this is really a different kind of build of breaker than the AC because this uh, handle of the contact, the moving part, will open up really far from its uh, opposite side of the contact. So at the AC breaker it opened just maybe three millimeters and that was it. But this uh, handle here actually is opening almost one centimeter. So the only issue, problem which I can find is heat at this side of the contact near the terminal. This should be some kind of carbonized uh, pad there. The other side is just steel. We have our extinguishing chamber here. The arc will go inside of here. We can take this out and be extinguished. There is a fairly standard, similar to the 
the AC breakers. Do we have any sort of magnet inside here? So that we could say this is a polarized breaker instead of a non-polarized. So I have my magnet here again and what I'm looking for is that I can find a magnet which is actually pushing away my magnet, right? Not attracting it, but what I can see, every single part here is actually attracting my magnet over to that spring. So yeah, it's all just steel. So not really copper. So here, as you can see, uh, on the ruler, when this contact fully opens, it opens up almost 9 millimeters. So that's a really big gap, which is necessary here. In this case, if the breaker is non-polarized, the arc needs to be somehow extinguished and the gap must be quite uh, big there. Uh, it looks correct. This seems to be a non-polarized breaker. That is not a lie. What of course made these uh, contacts now developing high resistance, heat starting building up. That is not so easy to uh, answer that question. So this is one side is steel, the other side is a sort of a like a carbon pad on an uh, electrical motor, something like that. If there's an expert looking at this video, he could maybe give us an answer for that. But yeah, unfortunate. This uh, is a quite a standard, simple model of an MCB. It is redesigned to uh, handle DC and also disconnect DC currents uh, because of the design of the contact there. And that's all I can say to this. It's a mechanical device and mechanical devices can develop issues when they are exposed to sun harsh climate. Okay, uh, that's all already what uh, we will do here. So maybe you can uh, take your clues out of this. So thank you for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe to the channel. I see you in the next one.